those who somehow don't know, The Finals is a fast-paced FPS competitive shooter that encourages teams of three to fight over an objective known as the Cash Out. Now, a couple of months ago, we were playing a lot of this game on the second channel and over on Twitch, and I still am streaming this game on Twitch every now and then, and we actually ended up hitting the top 600 players in the entire world. But although the game was still fun, it really wasn't performing too well and wasn't getting many updates, so I decided to kind of leave it for a little bit. However, now Season 4 has just been announced, and I am back and more excited than ever to get into it with its new content. So I know this video is a bit out of the blue, especially on the main channel, where I said, uh, I'm not gonna post FPS content anymore. But listen, shut up, enjoy the damn video, and let me explain what Season 4 is doing, what's gonna happen, and I'm just gonna basically ramble and play some gameplay clips throughout this video. Now we've waited absolutely forever for a brand new big update, so I'm sure you kind of wait for me to get into the new content. So don't worry, I've got you absolutely covered, and in this video we're gonna cover the new map, the new guns, the new attachments, the new sponsorships mechanics, legitimately everything you need to know that is currently available to know. But I do want to quickly note that even though we had a giant wait between updates, we didn't get any new specialities or gadgets, which isn't too gigantic of an issue because I'm sure or at least hope that they will come out later in the season, so I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as we know what they are. But for now, let's have a look at the new map. The new map is called Fortune Stadium and from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. So far, it's had a way better reception than Kyoto did when that came out and so I for one, I'm pretty excited to play it. Now, I and a few other people have noticed some similarities between this map layout and Soul's map layout. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try to give you guys a bit of a hint here. The map itself looks like it's going to have quite a lot of vertical play to it, which I'm excited to see. It's also split into five sections that are each separated by the void, so that's going to be a fun mechanic to try and push different cash outs. And speaking of cash out, we're going back to ranked cash out, which I cannot wait for because terminal attack... Yeah, let's just not talk about Terminal Attack. And that doesn't mean World Tour is going anywhere, it's still gonna have a leaderboard, which I am excited for too. The new guns also look very interesting, and like they'll actually update the game, unlike in Season 3 where we just had like the katanas and stuff like that, which didn't really have any ranked impact or competitive impact. So I'm very excited to get to know these new weapons. So let's real quickly go over the new weapons for the season. Firstly, the light is getting the M26 Mata, which is a new shotgun to the game. It looks like an auto shotgun, and I'm pretty sure it has a faster fire rate than any other shotgun in the game. Now obviously the damage isn't as good as any other shotgun, gun in the game to kind of balance this out. It's also a clip shotgun, which means the reload is pretty fast. Now onto medium, which is getting its own maxman rifle. The rifle is called a pike and by default starts with a sight and then you have to upgrade it to take the sight off, which is a bit odd. But from what I've heard, this is essentially a brand new meta weapon. Apparently it's also pretty perfectly balanced with it not being insanely OP, but not being insanely underpowered either. But again, obviously I haven't played the gun. I've just heard that it is a really, really good weapon for the game and I personally cannot wait to see for myself. Finally, we have Heavy, who's getting dual deagle which is insane. They're called the point fifty akimbo. So I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a nerf fairly soon into the season because apparently it has a fairly large clip and can four tap a heavy, which is crazy. But for now, that is all of the weapons coming. I can't wait to use them and they do look pretty cool to me. I also like that Light's getting a new shotgun because the double barrel can seem very inconsistent at the moment and so I'm really excited to give that a go. Now onto the sponsor section. I'll be honest, I don't really get this, but maybe you can make more sense of it than me. Essentially, there's going to be three main sponsors that each player can choose between and each one will also have their own leaderboard and once you've chosen a sponsor when you're playing you get to represent them and get yourself towards rewards that are specific to that sponsor. Each sponsor also has their own leaderboard which I'm not sure how it works but I guess we'll find out. But you know it does look very cool to me and we all know that the finals is usually quite unique with stuff they add in. And now for the biggest thing which is the scopes or sights. That's right the thing we never thought was going to come to the game is finally coming to the game. You're going to be able to purchase different scopes and sights for your guns but from what I've seen they do look pretty cool. You can get like red dots on your pistol or your M11 and you can get scopes on your marksman rifle which all looks pretty sick to me. I am really excited to see how gunplay and gameplay changes now that we have sights, and hopefully this opens the door for more attachments maybe in future seasons, who knows? Maybe one day we can put suppressors on our guns and vertical grips like Rainbow Six Siege. I also don't know if the sights have any negative elements to it now, like longer ADS times. It wouldn't surprise me if they do to balance them out a little bit, but really, once again, who knows? It also wouldn't surprise me if they don't because it could just be a personal preference thing. I for one know that I probably am gonna still be playing quite a few of the guns with iron sights, just cause it's really what I've got used to and also scopes sometimes just don't work for me personally. But yeah, that is pretty much all of the major changes that we need to discuss for Season 4. But yeah, I really hope that you're hyped for Season 4, I definitely know I am. The main channel is now going to be used for FPS content again because it's what has done the best for my channel and I was kind of stupid to go away from it but now I'm coming back because uh, no one likes my IRL stuff. So I'm going to be pumping out some content on the finals for the rest of the season and hopefully all the way through Season 4. Also, I do real quickly want to announce that we now have a community Discord. I'm going to link it in the pinned comment right below, please, please, please go ahead and join it. You will find all of the channel updates, gameplay updates, everything will be on there when it happens. You'll also just get to discuss things with me if that's something you'd want to do. I don't know, I'm not really a person worth discussing things with, but 
there you go. I'm going to finish off the last half of this video by essentially showing you guys how we got to top 600 in the game because I never really showed it on this channel. So following this, I don't even know what I'm going to show. It might be some gameplay clips from Twitch or it might even be a montage. Who knows? But one thing I do know is that you guys will hopefully enjoy and please do subscribe for more finals content coming soon. Like I say, I'm going to be pumping it out. Enjoy and have a great, great night. Subscribe, please. I'm desperate. Okay, here's a quick selection of random clips I had of season 3 finals this week. You're welcome. I let my guard down, but you get so dramatic. I can't mess up, you won't forget it like it's photographic. And if we fall out, I'm not sure if I'll manage. I think I'm codependent, won't tell you that's oversharing. I wish I could tell you why I'm mad, but I don't want you finding my red flags. And I know I can't open up my bed. I can't write a love song, when I try it feels wrong. Fill my lungs so I can feel a thing. Haven't slept in days, my eyes peeled open from adrenaline. I wish I could be your sedative. How could I reverse? I can't.